Hello, I'm in 100 class. Um, welcome back to another Fusion tutorial video. Um, so here today we will be looking at how to convert our coaster design um, and uh, manufacture that and generate G-codes. So um, hopefully you saw the previous video uh, where we modeled this coaster design. I can, this for this design I might give like a three out of five. So uh, it's not a very good design. Um, but I expect more from you guys, right? So moving towards the manufacture. So now once we have the coaster designed with uh, with an outer cutout as well as some inner features here, um, we can go to manufacture. So let's, um, so instead of design, so we are right now in design, I click um, manufacture on the top left here. And now we are in the manufacturing scene. So the first thing we need to do when we are in the manufacturing scene is to make sure our units are in inches. So change the active units to inches. And I'm going to set this as the default as well. And I click OK. Um, and then we create a new setup. So on the top left here, click Create Setup. Um, we are going to leave everything as is. The stock box point needs to be at the center bottom. By default, it is at the top, as you can see here. So I click the bottom golf ball here and ensure that it's at the bottom, right? And um, while we are in this scene, it is also good to note that the X direction is seven, the Y direction is 14. So this is how we will be placing the coaster back in the um, actual Laguna machine. So make sure you see the X direction showing this be the shorter seven um, inches and Y direction showing the longer uh, 14 inches. And Z should be the uh, vertical height, which is 0 0.25. And uh, make sure uh, the center is at the bottom, right? And then once we are done with that, um, we need to select the model as well. So let's click model and then make sure you select both the stock as well as the um, the body as well as the um, the inner circle here. So that shows up as two bodies here. Okay. So make sure you have both of them selected. Then go ahead and click stock here. Um, so in the stock, make sure we do not add any side offset. If I remember correctly, in, during the lecture in the class, I might have added a side offset. So make sure this is zero now. So so. Um, we are in the mode is relative size box and uh, everything is zero. So, and another way to confirm that is um, in the bottom, you can see the dimensions here. So the X dimension is seven, Y dimension is 14, and Z is 0 0.25, which is exactly what our stock size is. So now once we have that done, I press OK. So we have the setup completed. Um, the first operation that we will be doing is um, cutting out this pocket, right? So these small features, these ellipses and this uh, mouth here. Um, we will do the contour as the last step and that's because um, contour is what removes the um, actual coaster from the stock and we want to do that as the last step. So let's start with um, 2D pocket. So the first operation we're going to be doing is 2D pocket. So I go to 2D and then select 2D pocket here. Um, it's asking us for the tool. I'm going to be using the 1 8 tool, which is uh, 46200. So I search for that, I find that, and then I click select. Um, and um, while we are in the tool setting, I'm going to increase the cutting feed speed to 80, 80 inches per minute. And then um, let's move on to geometry. So if I go to the geometry tab, I'm going to select um, so make sure you, for 2D pockets, you are selecting the bottom surface of the pocket. So that surface, this surface, and this first surface. So that is how it should um, highlight for all of you. And um, so that those are our geometries. Next, going to the heights. Um, we can leave this as default um, only, um, and um, we are not going to be changing the bottom height here as well. Okay, and then. Let's move on to passes. A um, couple of things here. By default, stock to leave will be selected. So you need to uncheck that. We do not want any stock to be left. So make sure that's unchecked. And then I'm going to minimize passes just so that we have enough room. And then turn on multiple depths. 
and I'm going to just to be on the safe side I'm going to have 0 0.125 as the maximum st roughing step down okay um, even though I do know that um, this design has a, a step down of only 0 0.125 so it should cut everything in one pass okay so now that we have all of this done I press OK and um, that should be our 2d pocket and we can actually see how it is going to be creating the 2d pocket as well so that is uh, that looks good so far so next um, we are going to be doing a second operation because we have only cut the pockets now so we need to be cutting the contour on the outside so that will be a 2d contour the button is on the top here so I press 2d contour we are going to be using the same tool we are going to cutting feed rate um, staying same as 80 um, the geometry make sure you're selecting the inner bottom circle so um, make sure you are selecting the inner our coasters um, bottom circle right so there we go so hopefully you got to see that so and that should highlight in blue color as well um, then we do want tabs um, as mentioned in class tabs help um, keeping the uh, coaster um, in place um, let's change the tab width to 0 0.0625 um, let's change the tab height to 0 0.0625 as well and then um, um, right now it looks like we are going to be making many tabs uh, we don't need um, as many tabs as uh, that's showing up here um, so let's do every three inches and uh, that makes it one two so about five tabs which should be plenty I think um, you know what actually let's increase the height of the tabs a little bit so they can increase the height of the tab to 0 0.125 okay so the tab will be slightly taller um, but um, very thin right so we have the tabs um, here that should uh, be good so we have a total of uh, six tabs um, so we space them by three then moving on to the heights uh, make sure the bottom height is selected as stock bottom so for the 2d contour we need the bottom height changed to be stock bottom and then uh, then we move on to passes um, no changes here oh wait a minute we need to do the multiple depths so make sure you have multiple depths selected and we have 0 0.125 as the cutting depth and that's because our tool is is 1 8 inch so our depth of cut uh, a good rule of thumb is um, the depth of cut should be equal to the diameter of the tool uh, when we are cutting wood with the types of tools that we have um, so once we have that set up then I click OK there we go um, so since the our coaster board is um, 0.25 inches thick or a quarter inch thick make sure that you see two passes so I can see that there are two passes there so that tells me that it's doing multiple depths which is good so um, there we have it so it looks like we have the um, we have the tool path generated uh, we can have a look at the simulation of uh, how this is actually being cut so I click the simulate button on the top here um, make sure you sh have the stock shown um, so now the stock is shown in green in color so let's see what would be a good angle here so that should be good then I press plus uh, play here um, in the bottom center of the screen and oh okay so I made a mistake here I had only the contour selected so it's showing me only the contour being made um, so I'm going to close to simulate so to, to see both the operations um, as a simulation select the setup first and then click simulate so now it should simulate both the operations so it shows um, how it's making the the two eyes for the coaster here and then um, after that um, it's showing us how it's making the mouth and then um, it should finish off with the contour um, so it's doing the first pass for the contour and then it's doing a second pass for the contour as well so that looks good let's go to the top view here and we can also see the tabs there so that's pretty good one other thing that you should notice is um, 
it might not cut a very sharp edge here so um, you will end up with um, a, a, a somewhat of a rounded edge um, and you can see that here as well you will you you, you might not be able to get a very sharp um, edge and that's because we of the limitation of our tool so make sure your design takes into account all of that um, once we have the simulation done and everything looks good um, well uh, during the simulation we can also see the statistics and this coaster is going to take 2 minutes and 23 seconds um, to make so that's very good um, the next step after doing the simulation is to create a setup sheet um, the setup sheet is a um, uh, what you will be taking to either the technicians or myself to get your coaster G code approved. Without our approval of the setup sheet, you will not be allowed to run the program. So uh, the setup sheet is found next to the post processing here. So you click setup sheet and it asks you where do you want to save the setup sheet. I'm going to save it in the downloads folder. So I select the folder and then the setup sheet um, opens up. Um, um, as a web page so uh, so for me it's opening up on Microsoft Edge um, and this is how the setup sheet is a uh, setup sheet is really really good information and in one glance we can say um, if you have made any mistake or not um, you can save the setup sheet as a PDF the way I do it is generally right click print and then I print it um, as a PDF so print to PDF uh, you can use a um, if you are on Chrome, there is a save to PDF option as well. Um, you can save it as a PDF. It is one of the deliverables for your coaster project. Um, so looking at the setup sheet, make sure everything looks good. Your stock size looks good. Make sure your stock lower Z is zero. Those are some mistakes students generally do. You can see the total time here. You can also see the maximum feed rate. It shows the two operations. We have the 2D pocket and the 2D contour. Um, it also shows that um, um, we have multiple step downs so that shows that it's not going to cut everything all at once um, and it shows the minimum Z as well so everything looks good for this setup sheet um, so I would approve so once um, you have um, either one of the instructors approve your setup sheet then you can start your post processing so you click post process on the top here um, I have my Laguna selected. Make sure your units here are in millimeters. This is the only place where it needs to be in millimeters. And then click post. So now it's asking you uh, where do you want to save it. I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. I'm going to call it um, Halloween uh, coaster, right? I don't know. It's a poor quality Halloween coaster. Um, and then I click save. And uh, that's it. The G code will be generated. And uh, for me, it opens uh, it automatically. So it saves the file as Halloween coaster.mmg. You can see it there. Um, and uh, we just created right now more than 3,700 lines of um, G code. Um, and this is the file, the .mmg file, that you will transfer into your. Um, this is the .mmg file that you'll transfer into your USB stick. You will also, on the same stick, uh, put your, your partner's .mmg file, whose coaster would have been designed at the top. And um, then you can take it to uh, the lab for um, manufacturing. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Um, you can pause this video and watch this uh, again um, if you have any questions again. I expect to see a slightly more complex design than this. Um, this design will get you three out of five. So um, if you have the complete coaster done, so keep that in mind. Um, well, it's also a good practice to save. Um, so let's do file, save, use the save, this should be good. Um, so yeah, um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video.